So here we have two of the most popular and budget-friendly launch monitors out right now, the Garmin R10 and the Mevo. Now, in today's video, we're going to put these two head-to-head -head up against this $50,000 professional indoor golf simulator just to see which one is the most accurate. So let me tell you how this is going to work. First up, we have the Garmin R10. Before we do the test, there's four steps we need to do to help ensure that the Garmin R10 is the most accurate that we can make it. Now, the first thing you have to do is make sure that the Garmin R10 is up to date. One is through the Garmin Golf app. The Apple update software updates automatically behind the scenes when the Garmin R10 is connected to your mobile device. Now, the second way you can do this is using the Garmin Express program through your computer. Now, all you have to do is download it from the Garmin website and then connect your Garmin R10 to the software and it'll automatically update the software inside the Garmin R10 each time you connect to it. So once the Garmin R10 has been updated, the next thing you're gonna to want to do is to make sure that the unit is calibrated. Now, a lot of people don't calibrate the unit before each and time they use it, and it's really easy to do. So all you're gonna do is to go into the Garmin Golf app, go to device calibration, and then calibrate the Garmin R10. This usually takes anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute, and once calibrated, you know the Garmin R10 is internally ready to go. Once you have the Garmin R10 updated and the unit has been calibrated, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the Garmin R10 is set up in the right location. For indoor use, you're going to need to have the ball at least 8 feet away from the net or screen. Now, 10 to 12 feet is usually recommended, which that means that the unit would be another 6 to 8 feet from behind the ball. Garmin recommends that it's usually around 7 feet to get the best information. Next up is we have the Mevo. So the Flight School Mevo has been out for a couple years now, and it's a little brother to the Mevo Plus, which is by far one of the most popular launch monitors out right now, coming in at about $1,999. But for $499, you can get its little brother, which gives you limited data points, but it gives you a ton of power all none the same. So the data points that the Mevo gives you is carry distance, spin rate, club speed, ball speed, vertical launch, shot apex, smash factor, which is a calculation of swing speed and ball speed, and this can all be used on your iOS or Android device. And what's really cool is that you can even automatically record video, and it has E6 Connect compatibility. For indoor use, you're gonna to need to have the ball eight feet away from the net or screen. Now, usually 10 to 12 feet is recommended, and the unit should be another six to eight feet from behind the ball. And there's a radar within the unit that tracks the shot. So now that we know more about these two amazing launch monitors, let's do a little test. We're gonna be comparing the Garmin R10 and the Mevo against this professional $50,000 indoor simulator. I'm gonna do a little practice session. I'm gonna hit two clubs, my seven iron and my driver, and we're gonna see at the budget price point, which of these two launch monitors is the most accurate? On this first shot with a 7 iron for the Mevo, the Mevo showed a carry of 142.3 yards, while the simulator showed a carry of 150.8 yards, so a difference of about 8.5 yards. A little more than I like to see, but let's go on to the next shot. On the second shot with the 7 iron, the Mevo showed a carry of 155.4 yards, while the sim showed a carry of 167.6 yards, so a difference of 12.2 yards. Now to me, that's a little bit out of tolerance. I usually like to see these around less than 10 yards, if better than more than five. So let's go to this third shot. On this third and final shot with the seven iron, the Mevo showed a carry of 158.6 yards, while the Sim showed a carry of 165.9 yards. So a difference of 7.3 yards. So this is a lot better than the first two shots, but still more than five yards, which I'm a little surprised to see. But let's go ahead and move on to the seven iron with the R10. On this first shot with the Garmin R10 with the seven iron, the R10 was showing a carry of 129 yards, while the Sim showed a carry of 134.4 yards, so a difference of about five and a half yards. Now it's a little bit closer to tolerance. Anything around five, I'm pretty happy with. On the second shot with the seven iron, the R10 showed a carry of 154 yards, while the Sim showed a carry of 159.5 yards, so a difference of five and a half yards. So about 0.1 yards more than the last shot, but still within tolerance in my mind. On this third and final shot, the Garmin R10 showed a carry of 147.8 yards, while the Sim showed a carry of 143 yards. So a difference of about 4.8 yards, definitely within tolerance, less than five yards, which I was expecting to see. But let's go ahead and move on to the driver and see how they turn out. On this first shot with the driver, the Mevo Plus showed a carry of 214.1 yards, while the Sim showed a carry of 231.3. So a difference of 17.2 yards. Now in my mind, that's pretty far off. Um, anything less than 10 is tolerable. So more than 10 is not, but let's go ahead and move on to the second shot, see what happens. On this second shot, the Mevo showed a carry of 213.8 yards, while the Sim showed a carry of 223.7 yards. So a difference of 9.9 .9 yards. Definitely within tolerance, less than 10 yards in my mind is pretty good. So just as a heads up, the Mevo app froze on this shot, but luckily we had the audio from the Mevo, so we do have the right numbers here to give you guys. 
On this third and final shot, the Amiibo showed a carry of 209.7 yards, while the Sim showed a carry of 214.1 yards. So a difference of about four and a half yards. That's well within tolerance and what was I was expecting to see with the Amiibo. But let's go ahead and move on to the Garmin R10 to see how that turned out. On this first shot with the driver on the Garmin R10, it showed a carry of 199 yards, while the Sim showed a carry of 204.2 yards. So a difference of 5.2 yards. And that's definitely within tolerance in my mind. So let's move on to the second shot. With on the second shot with the driver, the Garmin R10 showed a carry of 201 yards, while the Sim showed a carry of 204.2 yards. So a difference of 3.2 yards. And to me, that's well within tolerance, and I'm really happy to see that it's less than five yards. On this third and final shot with the driver, the Garmin R10 showed a carry of 204 yards, while the Sim showed a carry of 211.8 yards. So a difference of 7.8 yards. Now, not as good as the last shot, but definitely still within tolerance. And it's amazing what these little units can do. So to recap, you know, with the seven iron, the Amiibo on average was showing uh, off by about 9.3 yards. We had one off by eight and a half yards, one off by 7.3 and one off by 12.2. Now to be less than 10 yards, you know, isn't that great to be quite honest. I mean, this should be less than five yards. And then we did see that when it comes to the R10. Now the R10 on average was off by five and a half yards or about 5.2 yards. You know, we had one at 5.4, one at 5.5 and one at 4.8. So to me, that's where these units should be at, right around five yards or less. Um, to be nine yards, that's kind of a downside to me. So you kind of have to ask yourself like for an extra hundred dollars, is the R10 a better buy? And to me it is because, you know, you're gonna have the accuracy, you know, within five yards, not 10 yards, which is pretty significant in my mind. But let's go ahead and move on to the drivers. On average, the Mevo was off by about 10 and a half yards with the driver. Uh, we had the first shot was off by 17.2 yards and then we had a 9.9, .9, then a 4.4. So it's kind of sporadic, but on average it's about 10 and a half yards off. And you no, know, that's pretty close to tolerance to me. 10 yards or less on a driver is pretty good. Um, but again, you know, you have a really high number and a real low number. And I would like to have seen like an average of all like 10 yards or less, but that's okay. You know, an average is about 10 and a half yards off. But when it comes to the driver on the R10, the average is about five and a half yards off. And that is definitely within tolerance, you know, five yards, five and a half yards on average. You know, so you have to ask yourself again, what, where's the value here for the extra hundred dollars? The R10 is within five yards almost on every shot with the, both the seven iron and the driver. But then you go to the Mevo and it's off by about 10 yards. So for the extra hundred bucks, you know, you're just that much more accurate and you're already spending almost 80% of the value right away. So in my mind, the R10 takes it both with the seven iron and the driver and would be the unit that I would buy personally. So big thanks to our friends at Indoor Golf Design for letting us use this amazing simulator. I'm really impressed with these two devices and I would highly recommend to any of you out there looking for an affordable launch monitor that can still be used as a simulator this season. Now I got mine from our good friends at playbetter.com. They're huge supporters of our show and our community. So there's links down below, both the Garmin R10 and the Mevo. But if you wanna see what we found, we put the Garmin R10 against the Mevo Plus, the big brother of the Mevo, then check out this video right here. You'd be surprised what we found out. And I'll see you in the next video.